Good morning, Lord. I give you all honor, praise, and glory. I wasn't going to do a video this morning, but I have to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. And I have a friend in need of prayer right now. She's grieving for her brother who died a while back, and she's having a difficult time. So please pray for her. And I just want you to know, Annie, I found this scripture, and it's in the book of Psalm. And Psalm 34 and 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And sometimes our spirits are crushed and we are brokenhearted, but we can't rely on God Almighty. Other people try to be there for us, but it takes God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ to, to comfort us and give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. We've all lost someone in one way or the other. It doesn't mean anybody's grief is more than the other or less than the other. We all grieve in our own way, but we have to rely on God to give us the strength and the courage to move on. We say we want to be with Him. And we know we can be with Him. And we know what we have to do. Some days we might not feel like it. We just want to grieve. And that's okay. So let's encourage her and strengthen her. And, and somebody call her and tell her that you love her. And remember this. You still have loved ones around you. A husband and grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Sons. Granddaughters. I know you have a lot of support and a lot of love. And I'm going to continue to pray for you and tell you that I love you. But God loves you most. Hallelujah. Just strengthen her, Lord. Hold her in your precious arms. You know, Holy Spirit, give her the peace that does surpass all understanding. Let her know that she's loved, that her brother is all right, that he's all right in the sweet arms of Jesus Christ, Lord. Give her that peace that she needs to get through this moment in time. And I want to move on to something else that made me think about. We can be blessed even in our stress. Um, I have a lot of love for, for people. I really do. And I, I like to think it's genuine. Don't mean I love everybody. I have to work on that. And I hope they have to work on loving me or like, even liking me. But especially, uh, I think about our young men in prison, my son too. And I love him. I wish he were here and not there. But he isn't. But a lot of times when young men do come out of prison, and, and even the boys that, that, are, that are still boys, you know, know that somebody's praying for you. And I'm proud of the ones that are, are getting jobs and doing the right thing and trying to make a, a mark back into society. Because once you've done your time, you shouldn't have to be punished for that same crime over and over and over again. You know, statistics are just that. They're just numbers that somebody made up. You know, that's all. If it were left up to me, marijuana would have been legalized a long time ago. Yeah, I said it. You, you can condemn me to hell if you want to. But that's how I personally feel. Get a lot of drug deals off the streets. You know, especially for medicinal purposes. Don't want to legalize crack cocaine? No, I don't. I think I said marijuana. You know, love me or hate me. That's my opinion. But anyway, I was thinking about some of the young guys that are out now. When you live in small towns, you hear a lot of things. Sometimes you even see them. So I encourage you young men that are out there, don't be tempted. Well, we're all going to be tempted. But rely on Jesus Christ to get you through this. And this is a scripture I found. It's in 1 Corinthians 10. And it starts at verse 12, and this is what it says. So, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Hallelujah. That applies to all of us. Sinners saved by grace and mercy. That's a good feeling. Guess what? I ain't said a cuss word in two days. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even though I said condemn me to you nowhere. I love you. God loves you most. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Let's feed upon his word today. I'm hungry. Mmm. Good appetite for that word. Amen.